Yo, what up? It's LLB. So I might just click around and make a Claytreon at this point because it really sucks that my clart is being stifled essentially by censorship. Um, I can't really move. I'm just gonna have to sit here like this. I painted my Claudie because I wanted to do a little photo shoot and it's just too much work and effort to get all of this off and I think it's quite great. It's like I am a walking Clart piece. So why not? Um, like I said, can't really move or I'll have to blur some damn clipples. It's just like, this is just a rant. I'm just ranting. I'm, I'm really annoyed. Um, people always say, why are you so mad all the time? Why are you so angry? Um, I don't know, because I'm a living, breathing human being who has a heart. <laughs> I just can't imagine not being angry with the state of the world. I can't imagine just waking up every day and being like, I am completely 100% happy with how everything is going in the world. Am I happy with my own life? Yeah. Yeah, I actually am. I'm doing quite well personally, but it's not all about me. You know, everyone says, oh, you just care about yourself, blah, blah, blah. It's like, God, I wish. I really wish that I was the only person I thought about every single day. Because I would be living a blissful existence. Um, probably wouldn't even deal with clopression, honestly. Why would I? Why would I, why would I be clopressed if I didn't care about anybody? My life has been pretty damn good. I mean, great parents, relatively stable, you know, club ringing. My brain is just a mess. Why? Because I think too much and I'm really tired of it. I'm tired of having thoughts all the time because they're usually not that closeted. And I really try, you know, PMA, all that jazz. And it works in the sense that I feel good. You know, I feel centered on a personal level, but I just can't not think about other people suffering. I just can't. That's not how I'm wired. If that's how you're wired, congratulate, congratulations, because I almost envy you. There are times when I'm like, no, I love being clumpathetic. I love worrying about the fact that people are suffering and dying constantly. That is so fantabulous. Oh my God, I'm so woke. But most of the time I'm like, this sucks. So I just want to rant a little bit. Um, I hear crazy things all the time. Trump said something about you should inject yourself with disinfectant. I didn't really comment on that because I didn't see the press conference. So why would I comment on something that I didn't watch? <laughs> a lot of people do that. You know, I've learned that through my, my page. People just comment on things. They don't watch it. Um, my brain's a little bit more active than that. You know, I'm not trying to brag. I think it's like the bare minimum, I think, watching something before you comment on it. That's not, that doesn't make you a genius. That doesn't make you special. That makes you like, maybe you got at least a 70 IQ, you know, eh, it's not that impressive. But anyway, so I didn't say anything about it because some people said he didn't say that and some people said he did. And I was like, I didn't say any shit because I didn't see it. Then I did see it and I was like, well, it doesn't seem like he said, you know, I still didn't comment on it because I just didn't care that much, like whatever. It didn't seem like he said to do it. Literally, it seemed like he was thinking, could this work? It's still a stupid thing to say out loud. I have a lot of dumb thoughts, but I try, I try to keep them inside, you know, especially if I was the president, I wouldn't say it on television, but that's just me. I'm just a clown, what do I know? So the main thing here though, is that it doesn't really matter anymore because he literally said that he said it as a joke to cluck with reporters which I find very funny. You know, a lot of people say a lot of shit about Trump, but he is quite hilarious. I'll give him that. He cracks me up all the time. When that one lady said that she had been coughing or something and he was like, uh-uh, he got the cluck out of there, that's some shit I would do. You know, again, I'm just a clown, not the president of the United States, but I vibe with him in that sense, you know? Don't think he should really be running a country, but he is humorous, I'll give him that. So, Wacky Trump, you know, he's just trolling, just, just having some fun, you know, just joking around. It's a pandemic, but you know, you gotta laugh it off sometimes. You gotta, you know, get in those, you know, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, as much as you can in these trying times. Um, but I thought it was funny because all of the people who said he didn't say it look kind of stupid. And I respect him for being like, you know, sure, by saying it was a joke, you know, I make myself look better, but I kind of make my supporters or the people who defended me look kind of dumb because they were saying I didn't mean that. And now I'm saying I did mean it, but as a joke, I thought that was kind of humorous. So um, kudos to Trump for, you know, making me laugh when I'm feeling rather down lately. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you should try stand up. I think that would be a better career choice personally. Um, maybe not stand up. He's more of like a, um, like a curb your enthusiasm type of show, but like, for Trump, that would be really great. I would watch the cluck out of that. 
So if anybody can uh, send him this message, relay him that, uh, maybe I'll tweet him, he does seem pretty active on Twitter, please consider doing something like that. I don't know what it would be called, curb your presidency, maybe it's a good one. Uh, please no one take that from me, I'm gonna copyright that, because that really actually could be phenomenal. Like clearly he's interested in, you know, he's done things on television. I actually see that coming to fruition. I'm gonna try to contact him. Um, or if somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, hit me up. Well, anyway, uh, one thing that I wasn't a fan of, though, that he did, um, wasn't really him, it was just kind of like the administration, you know, whatever, no big deal. Um, yesterday was National Day of Prayer, and, you know, it's a pandemic, so I don't really see why they needed to congregate for that. I don't see why they had to have the whole choir, you know, quite close in proximity to one another. I don't know why he had to be there physically. I don't see why they couldn't have just put up a big screen, like, in the outside the White House? Couldn't they break something up? It can't be that hard. Uh, apparently, allegedly, his valet or something got sick of the corona. So it's like, I don't think it's really wise for the president. Like, he is like sacred in the sense that, not sacred, it's the wrong term, but he, he's supposed to be protected, you know, Secret Service and all that. So I don't really get why he would like risk himself to that type of exposure. Um, I saw some people say, well, we need this right now. We need the National you know, Day of Prayer because people are dying and getting sick. And you know what would be more effective? Um, staying inside. I think that would be a little more effective. I'm not saying I'm knocking prayer. I get it. It helps people. It gives you a peace of mind and all that. But at the end of the day, prayer versus science, I'm sorry, but science is, it's going to win. And I'm not saying this like in a baseless way. I mean, Christian scientists, people who don't believe in getting medical care because Jesus will cure them, a lot of those people end up dying. So, I mean, factually, I don't really think that praying wins over like medical science. I don't know why I'm having this conversation essentially with myself, but the point is I didn't understand that. I'm just very confused. I just, I started laughing hysterically. Actually, I actually had tears in my eyes. I was laughing so hard because I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Can someone explain it to me? Cause I, I'm not getting it. I'm really not getting it. And this isn't like a, 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 a Clamerica thing, you know. I don't agree with, with the way that Sweden's handling it. I personally don't, I don't get it. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone because I'm just a clown sitting here half clanked on my couch covered in clay cup all over my body. But I don't get it. And maybe this is something that people who are, I don't know, normal can understand, you know? People say we're living in a clown world. No, we're not. Cause I think that would actually make more sense. I don't get it. I don't understand. I personally just don't really understand what's happening. Um, <laughs> it, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was born ready to stay in the house and do absolutely nothing. I club it. I really, really do. I really enjoy it. I really do. And that's why I'm very biased and in favor of just stay inside, you know, like we don't really need to like go out and get sick. You know, it's one thing if your job is like, oh, you're, you're an essential worker, sure. But some people are like, I just gotta go to Walgreens and get some chips and I just don't personally understand that. I don't get it. Um, but again, I personally am not going anywhere ever. So if y'all wanna keep this going till October or whatever, fine by me. You know, I got some video games I, I can play, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, whoop whoop! You know, I can't wait for that. Um, so I, I don't really give a shit personally, but it's just like, I don't really understand. Like, I'm just a crazy clown living in my own crazy world, according to people. So I don't really know what goes on in the minds of people who, like, function normally, in quotes. I don't really get it. Um, I saw something today where someone said that women who wear a lot of makeup and then they take it off and look different, it's deceiving and fucked up because it's like when a guy buys a car, he doesn't expect it to get wet and then the paint to all wash off. I didn't know that, like, we were commodities to each other. Maybe I'm naive. I thought that the whole point of a relationship is that you enjoy someone's company and time and like their personality. Um, I just can't imagine caring that much. Like if I get to know you and then you're busted under the clay cup, I'd be like, okay, I, I really like you. Like, I don't, I don't know. Again, just a crazy clown, but I don't really, I don't really get it. I don't really get how normal. And I say that in quotes, if I could move my body, I don't get how normal people function. I don't get it. And people say you're crazy and you're weird and all the things that are written all over my cloudy and I wear it with pride. I really do because I don't get y'all. And by y'all, I mean like the neurotypical, oh, oh shit, oh, whoa, hope you didn't see a clip, the world's gonna explode. 
Um, I just don't get it. I don't. I'm really okay being like in my crazy zone. Like me making a clue ball, his name is Kluvert by the way, that is like on the level of just absolute insanity, craziness, ridiculousness, but people protesting in the street because there's a pandemic and like the pandemic doesn't give a fuck about them or anything, like their feelings, it's just like I'm gonna get you no matter what, like you can complain and protest but I'm still gonna get your ass, that's logical. Um, being mad because someone isn't as pretty as you thought and not wanting to date them anymore because you only see them as an object, that's logical. Um, I don't know, I don't personally get it. Feeling like people don't have a right to live and and should just die if they can't afford healthcare, that's logical. I don't really want to be logical then. I don't really care. I mean, I guess logic is now subjective, I guess. I don't know anymore. I don't really understand anything. I never have which is why I just do my own thing. Because even if you do everything right, people aren't gonna like you, they're gonna call you names. I know so many people who are normal, at least they appear normal, they have a nine to five job, who've been called all these names written all over me. So if you do everything everybody else's way, you still get attacked. And if you do everything your own way, you get attacked, but at least you're having fun and doing your own thing, you know? So, damn, I'd rather be considered a clackhead, crazy, busted, ugly, fat, all that shit, you know, I'm living my best life. And people will say, who are you to be an authority on what's normal? Who are you to criticize people for doing really stupid things? Who are you to talk about people's life decisions and all that? I'm just a clown, I can admit that. I make stupid decisions all the time, but I try to change. I mean, I'm putting in some effort, and again, which people can't wrap their heads around, my decisions only affect me. I think if you really cared about, you know, bettering humanity and it wasn't all just about like, oh, you know, your train wreck of a life gets me through my shitty ass day. If it really was about like you care and you want people to be better and all of this stuff, you would put that clenergy into like, being a good person and helping people out and doing the right thing with like living, breathing human beings who you interact with every day. I don't know why I'm even saying this and like most people are just gonna not watch it or they're gonna take something collective out of this. Like sure I'm ranting and I'm angry but I'm also just venting and thinking about Clive and how I don't get it and how it's okay if you don't get it either because it's all bullshit. As Fiona Apple once said when she was accepting her, I believe it was an MTV Music Award, I'm not really sure, she said, life is bullshit. And it is. Which is why you should just do whatever the cluck you want. People say I'm lazy and a freeloader and all this shit. Eh, who cares? So? Then I know people who, who actually are, you know, just, just terrible, awful people and I don't really worry about them because it sucks for them. I think a lot of people are envious because they don't have the courage to just do whatever the cluck they want. It, it upsets them. And I, and I pity, pity those people. And it reminds me that although the state of the world sucks and there's only so much I can do about it, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm centered, I'm clappy, I'm doing my thing. And venting helps a little bit. And at the end of the day, all we have is each other. We have to try to make the best out of it, I guess. And yeah, that's my take on this. Um, people are stupid. People are weak. People are dumb. I'm not saying I'm not one of them. I'm a person. So I'm all of those things too. But, you know, eh, what? nothing matters. Nothing matters. <laughs> Millions are going to die or have died. I don't really know how many people have died, but it's a lot. And it's going to grow. It's, it's going to grow. Um, things are going to open up soon in Denmark. We'll see how that goes. You know, maybe Sweden actually did make the right decision. I don't think so, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, Clive was a joke and also a klessing. So there's that. I just felt like ranting. I felt like venting. Maybe this clinio will be like 20 minutes or longer. I don't really care. I'm going to upload it anyway. And if you got something out of it, Good. And if you didn't, you'll be okay. I love you all so much. Clunchables and Claters, but mainly the Clunchables. Um, the Claters, I feel like you're my, my children who I'm trying to guide into clubbing yourselves. It's a long journey, but you know, we'll get there. Probably not, but you know.
Peace out. Um, if a clip will slip, well, I'll probably have blurred it because I'm not trying to get in trouble. You know, clipples are dangerous. If you have clipples, you better lock them away. God forbid somebody see a little clip, clip slip. This is the shit that we're worried about. This is where our priorities lie. On Facebook, there are videos of people getting shot to death and they just put a warning on top of it. But if you let a nipple slip, that shit gets deleted. Think about that. Have a class day. Don't let the claters get you down. Um, fuck censorship.